Hello, I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. Welcome. It will be a great honor to speak with Bishop Emeritus Dr. Munim Munin of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land on our Peace with Penny interview on November 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. It is not possible to list all of the achievements of Bishop Munin, but we'll name a few. Keep in mind, in so many of these positions, he was the first Palestinian to achieve this office. Notably, in July 2010, Bishop Yunin was elected president of the Lutheran World Federation, an organization that represents 145 churches in 79 countries around the world, representing 70 million Christians. Bishop Yunin translated the Osberg Confession into Arabic and published it in 1993. This book is the main doctrines of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. He is a co-founder of the Council of Religious Institutions in the Holy Land, made up of the two chief rabbis of Israel, heads of the local churches, the chief judge of the Islamic court in Palestine, and other Muslim leaders. In October 2016, with Pope Francis and the Lutheran World Federation General Secretary, the Reverend Martin Jung, he co-hosted the Common Worship Service commemorating 500 years of the Reformation. Pope Francis and Bishop Yunin signed the historical reconciliation between Lutheran and Roman Catholic churches. He's co-founded and worked with organizations throughout the world, recognized as a leader to improve working together in the interests of peace, interfaith dialogue, and gender justice issues in Palestine and Israel. Bishop Yunin is the author of two books, In Witnessing for Peace in Jerusalem and the World, and Our Shared Witness, A Voice for Justice and Reconciliation. He has received a plethora of awards, but to name just a few, he was awarded the Pachem in Terrace Peace and Freedom Award, the Nawano Peace Prize for his interfaith work and initiatives, the Bethlehem Star Award from Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, and the Human Rights Award from the United Nations Association. With all of this talk about working on peace between Israelis, Palestinians, and the religions of the world, you might wonder, how did I get involved with wanting to work on peace? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12 foot by 24 foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom, boom. I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13 year old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes, and I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. I 
hope you can join Bishop Yunin and me on November 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Come learn about the amazing decades of work for reconciliation between peoples of the world that Bishop Yunin has completed. You can get the Zoom link on my Facebook page or at the end of this clip. Please register. If you have a scheduling conflict, you can always see the recordings on my website at penny, the letter S, T-E-E dot com under podcasts. Thank you. And may you live in peace, shalom, and salam.